everyone, I'm Megan and welcome to my channel. So today I am reviewing the brand new collection from Estee Lauder. This is the Bronze Goddess Collection and it includes an eyeshadow palette, some bronzer slash highlights, which are very interesting, and also two liquid lips. So if you want to see my thoughts on this collection, see how it applies, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Hey guys, so I have got one, two, three, four, five items from the new launch from Estee Lauder. Um, I think it's the Bronze Goddess launch. And then I also, um, so I picked up this beautiful eyeshadow palette. This is the Desert Heat eyeshadow palette. And I have never used any of Estee Lauder's eyeshadows. So when I saw this, and these are just like beautiful, bronzy, warm browns, like you got a bright orange in the middle and some like beautiful shimmers i had to have it and then i also picked up two of these illuminating powder jelly and i thought these were bronzers and i don't know if they're supposed to be bronzers and highlights or i'm not sure so i'm kind of intrigued by these and i picked it up in two different shades but this is what one looks like this is shade 03 this is the darkest one they have and it looks very shimmery. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like a sun kiss glow, like bronze. I'm not sure. So I'm very excited to play with this. And then I also picked up two of their new Pure Color Envy Paint On Liquid Lip Color. And I picked these up in 115 O Naturel and 112 Nude Tees. So I think what I want to do, I think I want to go ahead and pop into this eyeshadow palette. And I just want to... I bought these this all from Macy's when they had like their 15% off of their beauty because this palette was a little pricey for what you get. So it's $55 at Macy's. So, I mean, like I said, it's kind of pricey for what you get. It's, the pan sizes are definitely not very big, but the shades are beautiful and there's only one review with a five star review, so can't really go off that either. So, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and let's get to work with this beautiful bronze goddess eyeshadow palette. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to pop into is going to be this beautiful, like, nude transition shade. And, no surprise here, I'm going in with my Smith 232. And we're just going to throw this into the crease. Whoa, that is very pretty. Let me see if I turn down my lights. I feel like the lights are kind of washing out the color. Sorry if I keep looking at my viewfinder. My, the, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's the camera or what, but sometimes my lighting will be really bright. Sometimes it dims. If y'all know any tips and tricks, um, let me know. <laughs> so let me turn down the lights. Okay, I know that might be a little bit darker. Um, let's see, I wanna see if it'll show up better this way. Yeah, I think you're able to see it a little bit better now. And this shade is beautiful. I could probably just go out the door like that. Like, it's just, I don't know. I really like that. It's showing up a little bit darker on my eye. But, so far, I'm really liking this. Okay, now I'm going to pop into my Smith 230, which is a little bit smaller, and I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's a little bit darker, and there are only four matte shades in this palette, and then the rest are shimmer. That is very pretty too. It's no patchiness whatsoever. It's just like pure pigment on the eye. Get a little bit more. Just deepen that up a little bit. And yes, all of these shades so far are showing up a little bit darker, actually a lot darker. So just be aware of that. But this palette, oh my lord. I'm just two shades in and I'm just like amazed. 
Look at that. That is just pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get back into the bigger fluffy brush and just kind of tap the edges. Maybe go into that really light shade very lightly. Just so we have a very nice blend right there. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna pop into this pretty, pretty orange shade in the middle. It's kind of like an orangey coral. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease and the outer V of the eye. And then we're gonna go in with one of these really pretty shimmers. And I'm just using kind of windshield wiper motions and circular motions. But yeah, this shade is beautiful as well. So that is what we're looking like, just three shades in. And I think I'm gonna try to dip into this darkest brown shade right here. And I'm gonna put that, these are really pigmented, so I don't want it to be too dark, but I'm just gonna put that kinda on the outer, just the outer portion, maybe bring it into the crease just a little bit. Go back in with my 232. I need my 230 and just kind of blend and mesh all of these shades together. All right, I'm gonna get back into that orangey shade. And then with the bigger brush, I'm gonna go in that first transition shade we used and just use tapping motions. Just like that, so we have a really nice blend. Now, the fun part. I think I'm gonna go in to this dark brown bronzy shade right here. And I'm just gonna put that on um, dry first, just to see. want to be I think I'm gonna spritz it a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of the product and spritz, spritz it with some Mac fix plus I'm gonna see what this does not that big of a difference I think I want to dip into maybe the next lightest one which is right here and let's see what this one does And I'm not bringing the shimmer all the way across. Just kind of like halfway. Just like that. Don't get mad at me y'all for doing these neutral bronze looks because this is a bronze goddess eyeshadow palette. <laughs> and I did use the color that was in there. So the one pop of color. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go back into that pop of color. And I'm just going to kind of bring that back a little bit kind of lost it in there, but I really like it. And then I'm just gonna mix that one in the dark brown. Just kind of put that and blend all that together. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. I am really loving this palette so far. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that darkest brown shade we used in the outer portion of the eye, and I'm gonna put that under my eye. Ooh, that is pigmented. It might have been too much. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the next darkest shade in this Makeup Forever pencil brush. And I'm just gonna kind of smudge that. Ooh, it's 
going to be a little more smoky than I thought. Now I'm going to go into that pretty coral shade. Just like that. Whoa, that is dark. <laughs> now I'm going to go into my Smith 232 with the lightest shade and just kind of buff those edges. Try to lighten it up just a tad. All right, so this is what the one eye is looking like. I'm really, really impressed with this palette. I did not have any issues whatsoever. Um, there is just a tiny bit of fallout, which I didn't put any powder down to protect it, but I'm sure it'll dust right away. Let's see. Yeah. So very, very minimal fallout. Um, I'm really liking it so far. So I'm going to hop off camera, finish up my other eye, throw on some mascara, and then we will go and play with these new bronzer slash highlights and liquid lips. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, guys. So I just finished up my eyes. This is what it came out like. I'm very, very impressed with it. I, I would go ahead and definitely tell you to pick up this palette if you want, if you're into these bronzy colors. This is definitely an everyday palette and I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it because, I mean, everything just blended so beautifully. The colors, I just love the color scheme of this palette. Um, yeah, I'm really, really obsessed with this and I do think it's limited edition. So, now, I'm very intrigued to play with these, and I've got it in the shade 03 and 02. So, I'm going to start out with 02, and it kind of looks, I don't know, I'm kind of scared. And I picked up this new brush from Sephora, Babs Beauty. I've talked about her several times on my channel. Her name's Stephanie. I love her. She was using this Sephora number 72 brush for her bronzer. And I just want to try it. So I'm just going to, I don't know if this is like an overlay or what. So I'm just going to kind of swirl my brush in there. And just kind of, okay. So that definitely looks like a highlight. Hmm, that's like a really intense highlight. It's not even a bronzer. Okay, let's go into the next one. Very, very pretty highlight though. But it was just confusing because it says, I don't know. Some people, okay, so I read the comments on Macy's website. And some people are saying, I don't use it as a highlight. I use it as a bronzer for that sun kiss glow. Some people are like, this is my favorite highlighter. They compared it to the Heat Wave highlighter from Estee Lauder. So, I don't know. I'm going to take my bronzer brush now. And the JH02. I'm going to pop into this shade number 3. And. Okay. So, I got a little bit more bronze out of this one. It's still very, very shimmery. Okay. So, what I would do with this, I would definitely probably just use this as a highlighter. I would not use it as a bronzer or maybe like a bronzer overlay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer and bronze up because I did not do that because I was thinking that, that was going to be the bronzer and kind of tone down that highlight a little bit oh gosh starting I don't know I'm actually reviewing a foundation too so I hope that doesn't mess anything up but this year I launched here caught a bronzer though I can't say enough about it I love it okay so now I'm just gonna pop this I'm gonna go into shade number two and I'm just gonna get some and I'm going to highlight the center of my nose. So very, very pretty. I could have swore this was a bronzer though. But then when I opened it, I was like, I don't know about this. <laughs> but I just wanted to try it. But as a highlight, it's very, very intense. And blinding. Whew. All right, so 
I love it as a highlight, not so much as a bronzer. But now I'm going to pop into, let's see what 015 or 15, 115 Au Naturel looks like. I might do 115 and then put 112 in the center, kind of like an ombre. Yeah. Let's try 115 first. Mmm. It smells so good. What is that? I can't describe it. Kind of fruity. So it's very, very comfortable on the lips. Now I'm going to take 112. Yeah, that really didn't make a difference. <laughs> Get that hair down. So yeah, guys, this is the completed look. Um, I, I really liked everything in this collection. Um, I, the lip color is a little dark for me, but it's okay. It goes well with the eye color, I mean the eyeshadow. And um, I can't say enough good things. My favorite thing out of this collection would definitely be this Desert, what is it called? Desert Heat Eyeshadow Palette. And I do love these little bronzer highlight, whatever, for highlight only. I would not bronze up your whole face. You could, it's for like a face and body um, bronzer. So let's just see. I'm going to go into 03. This is fresh. And let's just see what it does. It gives a little glow to the skin. I don't think it's going to bronze up or give you that bronze color, but it's going to give you a nice pretty glow. And that is how it's marketed as a face and body. So, I do like it for my chest area. I think that really just gave a beautiful like glow to the skin. So, I really don't have any complaints for anything in this entire collection. I really loved everything, um, but mostly the eyeshadow palette. So, yeah, this is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know to, to review like new hot products. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love nothing more than to have you subscribe to my channel. I promise to put out good content for you guys to keep you always entertained. If there's anything you want me to do, um, you know, if there's a product out there that you want me to review, just let me know and I will definitely get it on my list and do that for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next ones. Bye!